I'm Jeff Schwartz of Schwartz Performance, and this is our January 2021 update. Can you believe it, 2021? Anyway, we got a lot of cool stuff going on in the shop today. Let's go check it out. This 63 Chevy 2 that we blasted and epoxy primed last month has now got the chassis fitted underneath it. So uh, this is going into a full build and we should see some cool progress on this one shortly. As you can see, our chassis assembly department is pretty stacked up here. We even have chassis over that way. But the good news is we uh, just added additional manufacturing capacity to our chassis department and we will be increasing our output by about 33% here shortly. So the good news is you'll be getting your chassis sooner. So thank you for your patience and uh, we'll be rocking and rolling even more real soon. What in the heck is this? Well, this is a Cummins diesel going into a Chevy C10 chassis. As you know, we like the oddball stuff and we try to accommodate people whatever they want to build. So here we are, another one-off. This is that Cougar that has the Procharged Coyote engine in it. Uh, we're continuing work on assembly on this thing and uh, the color came out pretty spectacular. This 78 uh, Cutlass W30 is coming along. We finally got a hold of some trim that we were missing for the side glass, and uh, this thing should be a pretty fun car. We just had this Trans Am on the dyno a couple of days ago, and uh, we discovered that we don't quite have enough fuel pump. So we've got a, a new double fuel pump assembly that'll drop into that original hole coming from Rick's tanks, and once we get that, we'll do some final dyno tuning on it and get it all the way dialed in. I know you've seen this the last couple months and it probably doesn't look like we've done much, but we've been working on wiring and all that stuff is kind of neat and tidy now in the dash area. And uh, there'll be more components being put on here uh, real shortly and then it'll actually look like it's near done. So there's a few final details uh, to work out on this Ford. Uh, namely, there were no turn signals indicators in the, uh, the dash when it came to us, so we uh, recently added some tiny little LEDs just so you can see whether the turn signal's on or not. So we've got those for right and left, high beam indicator, and then we also have a, a check engine light. So those are all uh, real tiny LEDs, so you really won't notice them when they're not on, but then they'll flash pretty bright when you see them. So that was one aspect. The other thing, is uh, it was difficult to see an out of here and we really didn't want to screw into the wood or screw into the body to mount any type of mirror. So we've, what we've done is mounted a couple of cameras here. There's like a smooth little cover that goes on here that will be painted black and it'll blend in with the lines of the body. So we've got basically dual cameras on either side for essentially the side view mirrors and then we also have another tiny camera that will get mounted underneath the license plate in the back for looking straight out the back. There's going to be a, uh, a screen in here uh, right above the rear view mirror that will actually have all those cameras on it uh, so you can actually see what's going on. The other thing is this dash didn't really have room for a tachometer so uh, we figured out uh, a shift light arrangement that we can do today and that'll get mounted to the bottom of the LED screen so it'll be in your field of vision as you're looking out the car because this thing with 650-ish horsepower and the high revving Coyote with the manual transmission you'll need to have some method of shifting so we've got like a nice sequential shift light coming that can be programmed to be linear or come from both sides in the center like Ferraris do so we can set it up either way, so that'll be a nice uh, way of figuring out when you got to shift this thing uh, without having some kind of gaudy tachometer tacked on somewhere. So it'll be a, a nice sequential uh, shift light mounted on the bottom of the, uh, the screen, and it, like I said, it'll be in the field of vision and it should work out really nicely. This is that Chevy 2 Nova convertible we've been working on for quite a while. It has the uh, supercharged LT4 engine in it. And uh, I don't really want to take the cover off it right now. So you'll have to watch next month and we'll be full blast into the assembly of this beast. 
So this is a, another Mustang that has our chassis underneath it that just recently came in uh, to get finished up. So it's already been painted uh, and the chassis installed somewhere else and now we're going to wrap up the project for the owner. Well this 69 Charger obviously is getting a Schwartz G Machine chassis and a bunch of other things. So. Um, it just arrived and we'll be getting going on this one soon. Uh, the customer who owns this 78 Mercedes 450 SLC came in last week from the East Coast and we finalized all the final build details on it and uh, test fit him into the driver's seat. So we got to make a couple little alterations because he's a quite, a quite a tall guy. And uh, once those alterations are done to, to fit him, then we'll uh, move on with uh, the rest of the fabrication of the floor. So right now we're just finalizing the seat mounting position and then uh, we'll be on to uh, closing up the cockpit by fabricating the floors. As you may know, I also have a Studebaker this same vintage and every time I look at this I keep thinking I want to do the wide body on my car but Anyway, this is coming along spectacularly. The uh, fender vents are now in. We've got our inner splash shields. We've buttoned up the ends of the bumper, and it looks like we've got kind of all the bits and pieces of the jigsaw puzzle figured out. So it's getting really close to completion on the sheet metal fabrication side of things. Still got a couple of things to button up here on the hood. And, and then we go on to the final pieces of the puzzle for the like coolant tubes and plumbing the engine and things like that. So uh, getting real close to the point where we'll be doing bodywork and paint on it. I can't wait to see this thing. This is that Mustang Coupe with the body kit and you haven't probably seen it for a little while, but we now are in the process of putting the chassis underneath it and then we'll put the motor and drivetrain. It is getting a Coyote engine like most of the Mustangs we're doing and then we'll be fitting the side exit exhaust and fabricating the rest of the exhaust. So onward and upward. This is another Chevy 2 Nova. I showed you the uh, Wegner engine that's going in here, the supercharged LS with the Whipple on it. Uh, this one has a lot of rust issues and we finally uh, primered the areas that are not going to be repaired and then we'll be uh, cutting those areas out that are rusted and replacing the metal. So. Uh, a lot of metal work to do on here, but uh, it'll, it'll come out very nicely and it'll be like a brand new car when we're done. That's all we have for our January update. Uh, don't forget to like us and follow us on all our social media. And stay tuned for February's update. Thanks for watching.